Welcome everybody! I've got a short little deck tech here for you. So I made this deck quite a while ago, but I never really did a deck tech on it. I don't think that it's good enough. It's close though. It's, it's a deck that I would like to find a way to make work, and I think that if there's the right meta, and if there's a couple more cards added in the future that would help it out, it might actually get there. But right now, it's a fun little deck anyways, so I wanted to show it off. This is the evolution from our Grief Roach list, uh, which I had a previous video on, and it was doing a lot of different things. It had a lot of Primal in it as well, because it was running Crown, and it was running um, Gorgon Fanatic, and Haunting Scream, and trying to use that with Scene and Cultist, and it ended up that it had too many things going on, I think. So instead, we focused on a much more, well, I mean, focused list. The list is very streamlined now, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a Xenon Cultist, or Katra, so, uh, and Vara is certainly up there. I might actually want to go to four Varas. I don't have a fourth, but I've been really considering it when I was playing it before. So, what the deck wants is you want to get like a Xenon Cultist or a Katra, and then you're going to start using those to gain a lot of value off of graveyard shenanigans and life gains. So, you're either going to be using Piercing Grief and using that to give your whole team extra power and toughness because of the Katra, or you can use Xenon Cultist with like Ephemeral Wisp, and you're going to be sacrificing it to Devour, so you sacrifice it, uh, it gets plus 2 plus 2, so it becomes a 2-3, then you play another power card, it comes back, you get to do it again, and you kind of keep doing that over and over. Uh, same with things like Temple Scribe, Temple Scribe works well with Katra. You've got the Xenon Initiation and the Dawn Walkers, so you can combo that off as well. And eventually, once you get the Ephemeral Wisps large enough, which you can certainly do, then they start pulling back the Dawnwalkers. Basically, the deck is a lot of inevitability. If they don't have a way to stop your graveyard uh, shenanigans, then you're going to be able to win a game, because this deck goes so over the top, it's insane. You get incredible amounts of life off of Piercing Grief late in the game. Uh, Dark Returning Piercing Grief, I've managed to do it with, like, 21 power piercing griefs pretty consistently like they get huge now you've got to live that long which is part of the problem so we'll run some games and i'll kind of show you how it actually plays out in practice and uh yeah we'll go from there